the AM Polaron is a long history with some new um, events that came up. If you know, if you check out our extension portal for Enterprise Architect, you will see there's various different um, integrations available, which came up over the time. And um, today we'll take a look at the most recent one, the Lemon Tree Connect Polarian for Enterprise Architect done, done by Lieber Lieber. Um, to, uh, to be precise for those who cannot, uh, who do not know the, the company yet or the product yet, actually this list is lacking one further integration, the product Lemon Tree, which is also from Lieber Lieber. But these are two different products. Lemon Tree is uh, brings your enterprise architect models into um, version control systems. So you can um, collaborate uh, on your models uh, inside, let's say, Subversion or Git, like you would do with um, your source code. And um, therefore, uh, for example, if you have your Git then connected to Polarian, you can um, navigate with just a couple of clicks to, for example, find out uh, what is the what was the change request for a specific change in your model, um, and how was it uh, uh, solved in the um, in the in the model. So this is more for collaboration inside models and finding out the historical traceability. The Lemtree Connect is more for collaboration between models and specification requirements, documents, and so. So this concentrates a bit more on logical traceability. Both can do very good together. So um, if you might be in a, in a highly regulated uh, industry, uh, you might benefit in using both, but depending on your use case, you might prefer one over the other. Today, we will concentrate on this quite new connector lemon tree connect. Uh, Polarian. I think also um, Daniel Siegel from the Lieber Lieber company is um, among the attendees. It's at least I saw his name in the list. Uh, thank you, Daniel, for, for joining us here. So in case um, uh, there are questions coming up for our uh, Q&A uh, session in the end, uh, which I might not be able to answer, we also have one ex uh, expert here. Um, who might answer that. Thank you, Daniel. So, um, what's the key functions of this and features of this new connector? It's on one hand to import work items from Polarin into Enterprise Architect, mainly requirements, as we will see, in order to uh, enable the modelers um, to, to understand what are the requirements without leaving the tool so that they can see the requirements inside Enterprise Architect. And then on the other hand, whatever they model, they can export back into uh, Polarian, so other way around, so that the specification guys, the requirement guys can understand what was the result, what was the output of the, the architecture, and um, the whole uh, connector supports necessary links between these different um, items, which we found out is very important. Of course. So this is some kind of recommended workflow. We have on one hand, requirements engineers in Polarian and system architects and enterprise architects. So the requirement engineer writes his requirements in Polarian, imports them to, uh, or the system architect then in EA can import them into a can create um, can um, create this uh, architecture, link it to the requirements, export it back to Polarian, and then in Polarian, these modeled artifacts are also uh, visible and also linked the same way. So I have the same traceability view then inside. Uh, Polarian and Enterprise Architect, um, and this is, I would say, some kind unique, which we didn't cover with um, other integrations so far. So let's see how this works in life. Uh, 
nice recording here. Okay, uh, I will jump over this. Uh, you see a common configuration dialog here to test the connection between EA and Polarian. And now we go on with the first step of importing system requirements. As I said, in this case, the system requirements are inside a Polarian project called system regs. You see they are structured in with, with links as a pre. This is very important to understand that uh, there's a some kind of hierarchy in this um, case between the requirements. And now we will easily import them via this uh, connector menu from Polarian. Now it's an initial import, so I'm asked uh, from which Polarian project we shall pull the data. So we select the Polarian project and do the import. And after short moment the requirements are imported now so ea refresh the view automatically and we see the not just the requirements but also the structure the the, the linkage between them which is very nice we will also see that uh, not just the titles are imported but also additional data like uh, custom fields in here, the description is in this notes field of the requirement and um, many other fields can also be configured to be exchanged like custom fields. And so um, this all is done in a mapping file in, uh, in an XML file. I think we can jump over this. It's enough to, to know that it can be uh, adjusted there. You can see. Oh, we lost a bit of time. Completely jump over this. Oh, okay, so now the uh, modeling, uh, the system architect now can see the uh, requirements in the um, in the model and also can easily navigate from here in case it's needed back to to Polarian in order to look up something. Does this open in Polarian menu? So now what happens now if the requirement gets updated? So let's edit the requirement to a simple change, maybe change the title or whatever. Um, and see what happens now. We simply call this update. And we run the import one more time. So we see we are not asked concerning the project because now it's clear where to pull the data from. And we'll learn, uh, EA refresh the view and we'll see the uh, updated title in there. Um, important, as we said, is that also the relations are imported to EA, and we can also see this um, inside Android Architect using the uh, traceability view. Right here, we can see, yes, these things have exactly the uh, linkage as it has in Valerian. If you now, uh, for example, drag requirements, which are linked to each other inside EA, also you see the relation then directly uh, pops up. And also you see it here, you can easily by double click on a requirement in a, in a uh, model, you can easily jump to it inside Polarian. So that means um, we see here the, the link road. So that means also the, the uh, linkage is uh, mapped in this mapping file. Again, we can skip this. And 
the export so the other direction we have an architecture in enterprise architect which we want to export and also not just the architecture but also the uh, traceability between the requirements and the architecture so the system architect models this relation now inside ea we do have these blocks in here and using the uh, common features to do these relations in ea he picks the requirements which he has fulfilled with the blocks and links them to the block or other way around so this block realizes this requirement or is a realization of this requirement so now if we export this architecture to polarion so we select the, the package we want to export we see a couple of uh, block diagrams Uh, we see here um, we have an empty Polarium project to do the export. That means, um, if you like, you can do the export in a different, into a different project, which might be important for reuse scenarios where maybe the requirements are not in the same place as a, uh, as a an architecture. So we select the target project for the export. And now the whole package, including the diagrams and the relations is exported to Larian. So in a moment, we'll see the data line. Just a moment. Let's call it back for a bit more to get through. So here we see again it's not just that the items were exported but the structure was maintained the tree structure with all the the links and we will see that also the um uh, the relation now modeled between the requirement and the uh, block element is also exported inside this uh, view here so um, in case you, you have to go to an audit in order to find out where in the model is my uh, requirement realized, uh, then you can do this check without moving, uh, yeah, without the need to, to go into EA because we have the artifacts and all the diagrams and also the linkage inside Valerian. Uh, we are a bit short on time. The, um, what you saw here was the latest version of the connector. There are some more features um, also in here. For example, if you do a, a change of a linked item on one side, um, there's a mechanism which is very close to the suspect mechanism of Polarian so that the other side can, after import, can understand that there was a change that has to be um, uh respected and also if uh, items are deleted on one side there are in both directions clever mechanisms now to yeah to to handle this and to decide what should happen then on the other side 